Our second scripture reading comes from the book of John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 15. A boy and his lunch. Listen now for God's word to us. Word had spread all across the lands of Jesus and his loving hands. He cured the sick, he healed the blind. To friends and strangers, he was kind. The people gathered one by one to see the things Jesus had done. To every place that he would go, the people followed high and low. He crossed the Sea of Galilee, went up a mountain through the trees. Then Jesus came to sit and rest among the friends he knew the best. But even all the way up here, the crowd had followed oh so near to listen to the words he'd say, to watch him heal, to hear him pray. When he saw the large gathered crowd, Jesus asked this question aloud. They've walked for miles on their feet. Where can we buy them bread to eat? He said this with a little smile, for Jesus planned it all the while. Just exactly what he would do, but wondered if his friends knew too. Now Philip, who was close at hand, did not know what Jesus planned, for this was not a crowd of tens, it was five thousand citizens. To earn the money we would need, to buy the bread enough to feed, all these people gathered here would take us more than half a year. Andrew spoke up then and said, Here is a boy who has some bread. Five loaves, two fish, it's all good stuff, but surely this is not enough. Jesus took the loaves and then said, God, we thank you for all this bread. He passed the loaves, he passed the fish, he told the crowd, take all you wish. They all sat down on the ground. Is there enough to go around? Five thousand people sitting there, somehow they had enough to share. Once everyone was satisfied, Jesus walked through the crowd and cried, so that not one crumb may be lost, gather up what you would have tossed. The scraps from five small barley loaves now made twelve baskets overflow. What wasn't enough for them before had somehow turned into so much more. When people saw what he had done, they shouted, Surely he's the one! Jesus is the prophet, he who has come to make all things anew. Jesus didn't want attention, he realized their intention. To force him to become their king, who would rule all and everything. Instead of sitting on a throne, Jesus chose to be all alone. He did not boast, he did not speak, alone he climbed the mountain's peak. Hear this, imagine sharing a meal with many friends. What sort of noises would you hear? What do we say when we pass the food around the table? See this, imagine having one loaf of bread. Suddenly there are five loaves, then there are ten loaves. What would it look like to see more and more food appear? How would you feel? Act this out. When are times when you like to be alone? When are times when you like to be with lots of other people? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.